So, hey, YouTubers, how y'all doing? <laughs> Hope all is well with everyone. In spite of what's going on, you know, we're staying home, we're staying safe, but you know, we can still be productive. Uh, you can get a lot of things accomplished, things that you started and maybe didn't finish. But right now, I'm going to make some fried potatoes and onions. Oh, yeah, that good old dish your mamas and grandmamas and great grandmamas used to make. Uh huh. I have my pan already hot here. I'm going to start off with a little oil in the pan. We're going to get it nice and oily. Okay, that's pretty good right there. A little more, a little more. Okay, now my potatoes have already been towel blotted. It's very important to go ahead and towel blot um, after you've cut up your potatoes and you've washed them off. Use a paper towel to towel blot them off. Um, it keeps the oil from from popping up in your face and uh, you know and it makes it cook better so uh, these have already been towel blotted here I have my yellow onions green onions um, I did my yellow onions kind of like a broad cut I've chopped bell pepper and I've chopped garlic here I got a little bit of butter here so I'm gonna add about a couple of tablespoons here I got my butter here already softened I usually keep some out in a bowl and, and mind you this is real butter this is not margarine I'm going to add it here to my oil oh yeah look at that sizzle you know that pan is good and hot uh huh how y'all doing uh huh and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my onions and bell peppers here oh yeah honey they singing honey they having a party good old party 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 Get your spoon here, and you want to keep it up on a high heat because you want to reach a caramelization of your onions and your bell peppers and your garlic. Um, they get a nice shine to them, a nice brownish uh, coating, and you can saute them up to your desire. Me personally, I get them to a light brown of a caramelization, um, a shininess to them. Turn it up, up, up some more. I like them singing to me with that sizzle. Uh-huh. Okay. So, got that in. And then next, you want to season your saute. Now, back in the day, I used to add the potatoes and then the seasonings. But I learned from watching cooks uh, and chefs on TV, uh, if you really want to build up on that flavor, honey, season your saute first before you add the potatoes. Just a little bit of seasoning salt here. A little bit of garlic powder. Even though I got fresh garlic already in there. I am a garlic lover, honey. You can add that. Let's get that black pepper. Bam, 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 bam. Get that going in there too. And of course, parsley. I love parsley. Parsley balances the flavor in your food. And it gives it a beautiful appearance. I love the appearance of parsley. Okay, now. We're going to blend that on in. When your saute is seasoned, it just it just uh, boosts that flavor in your food. You've already got your flavor going. So when you add your potatoes or your vegetables or your meats or whatever may have you, the flavor is already there. Once your dish is done, um, you know, if you want to still add some flavors to your liking, desire, oh, feel free. Feel free. You don't have to stop just at the saute. If you feel like it needs a little bit more, hey, you the cook, you the chef. <laughs> How y'all doing? Okay, that looks really beautiful. Now, this is pretty much the caramelization that I desire here. It's becoming into a brownie. Let me just kind of show you that. Oh, look at that stain. Uh -huh. Nice little party going on. You see that? Okay, that's what you want to do. Now, I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Not too much. Because um, when I add the potatoes, the temperature will go down automatically. Okay, here's my cut up potatoes. I cut my potatoes long cuts almost like french fries. You can cut your potatoes up however you want. There's no certain way to cut them up. Now, I'm going to do a folding. A folding in. Because that's what you want to do. You know, you don't want to stir too wildly because then <laughs> the potatoes and everything can be flying all out, falling on the floor, all over the stove, stuff like that. So you just want to do a gentle folding in 
of the potatoes. Okay. That's how you want to roll with it. And once you get it all folded in, you want to let it continue to cook on like a medium high heat. Um, you want to cover it. Now, this is one of my most favorite uh, skillets here, a friend of mine. Bless me with this skillet. I love it. It doesn't have a lid, but what you can do if you have a certain skillet that you use um, uh, for your fried potatoes and, and you don't have a lid to it, hey, put some aluminum foil on top of it. That's all you got to do. Now, I do have a splatter screen. But what you want to do, you want to cover it because you want to circulate in all that heat. You want the heat to circulate and stay in. You don't want it to circulate and come out because you want all that flavor. Okay, so this is pretty good. You can kind of move it from the sides and things. Okay. So I'm going to cover this. And basically, you know... Um, it's to your heart's desire. Me personally, I like a crusting on my fried potatoes. So basically, I let them stick um, to the bottom. And as they begin to stick, I take my spoon here and I begin to push, 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 push to get it off. And I fold it back into the potatoes, the crusting, when the crusting begins to form on the bottom. It hasn't done it yet, but that's what I do. Push, push, push. And I take it and fold it over into the potatoes. Okay. That's the way I like my fried potatoes and onions with a nice crusting. Okay. It's going, it's going, it's going. I'm going to cover these up and I'll be back with part two at the finishing line. Yes. All right. Now it's fried potatoes and onions. How y'all doing? <laughs> 